Welcome to the showcase. Today we are talking about branding for the modern day entrepreneur. I'm Tola Adiabo, brand manager and co-founder of Floral London UK. And today we have with us. My name is Peace Hyde. I am the West African correspondent for Forbes Africa and a TV personality and media entrepreneur. My name is Matthew Hill. I'm the MD of El Carnaval Limited, going to uh, event production and experiential marketing services. My name is Ngozi Prince Oluche. I'm CEO at Lee Lifestyle Consultants. I'm an image advisor and trainer, um, a conference speaker, and an event host. Specialized in etiquette, image, and personal branding. For me, branding goes way beyond just your logo and um, your graphic elements. Branding is about so much more. And branding is part of your marketing strategy. Mm -hmm. I, I agree. I think when you're looking at branding, um, it's very easy to get up and say, I want to start a business. Precisely. And you know, we all want to be independent to a degree. But when you decide to leave um, the corporate nine to five and say, look, I'm going to be an entrepreneur, build something mm -hmm. myself. I think the first thing you need to consider is that what do you want your brand to say? To what is your mission your statement for your company? Yeah, yeah. Um, and once you build that and you make sure that that core is in the right place, right. then it means that you always have that grounding or that foundation to build your empire, hopefully, um, mm -hmm. from. So I think yeah. you're right. It's about what your mission statement is, what you want your brand to say about you, mm -hmm. um, to say about your company, about your and company, then things yeah. such as uniform, um, mm -hmm. even the logo, yes. all of that will grow from that one seed. But you need to make sure you mm -hmm. get the core, the mission statement and values of your oh. brand. And what you were saying, which means you have to be very clear, isn't it, about what your brand is. And then, um, of course, you have to be consistent. Mm -hmm. You know, so the, the difference between a weak brand and a strong brand is a consistency and the constancy of the message and mm -hmm. the clarity as well, isn't it? So be clear in your mind what your message is and then keep reinforcing it. You've got to cascade that message across everything you do. Mm -hmm. you know? If you're looking at how to keep your message um, clear and consistent, mm -hmm. I know you said you do events. Yeah. How do you manage to get that across an event? Like you said, consistency is very mm -hmm. important. And for us, the client is more on the brands. You know, we don't deal with um, consumers, large okay. consumers. So we hold events that are you know, specific to certain people. And it's all about like consistency, you know. You have to be able to be you have to be known to deliver on events, mm -hmm. on shows and you have to like people need that's the confidence that people will get into. Just about this what you're saying, um, because we know that about eighty percent, you know, of choices people make are emotional. Exactly. And people tend to connect with people. You know, so if they can connect with the face behind whatever product it is, mm -hmm. then it's a stronger emotional connection. You know, they look at you and they think, oh, you embody. So they're sort of not just buying the product, yeah, but buying into the values, the values, you know, mm -hmm. that you represent as yeah. well. I mean, so also, important. especially in this part of the world, in Africa, in Nigeria, people want to engage who is the person behind the brand. Mm -hmm. You know, people want to call. Everybody's like, okay, we want to be part of this, but who is, who is that person? person? And there's always that feel, you know, I think it's an African thing, you know, people want to meet face to face with you. They, we're not really ready to have go all out digital. Mm -hmm. So everybody wants to know who is the guy that does that and want to yes. meet him and mm -hmm. have it one on one. Mm -hmm. And they, they invest more in your character and your personality first before they the, the brand or whatever you're building is secondary. Corporate culture, your culture is definitely part of your branding. Your image is part of your branding. All your communications part, of, part of your of branding. branding. Mm -hmm. you know, so it's everything you do, everything you say. It's all, I don't know, like building, you know, bricks or blocks. Yes. Everything is building yeah. one on the other. Yeah. Yeah, and that's why you have to be patient. Yeah. Well, when you have a unique brand and you have something that people know that's, that it's you, the minute they see something else that's trying to copy or they, is below yeah. standard, they can actually best. tell yeah. that, okay, this, this is not the real deal. The real so deal. it's very important for people in that sector to be like, to be able to like stand out stand and set, out a, set a certain you know, level for yourself and just keep to that. Okay. Right. But interesting, because you're saying that, um, 
I know that even when you've uh, developed a strong brand, there are always going to be people who want to jump yes. on the bandwagon and want to, you know, always. copy Sometimes what you're doing. You know, it's yeah. always a compliment. Yeah. You know, I, I, imitation I, I, is the sincerest form of flattery, they say. Precisely. But you've also got to keep innovating. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know, brands are not static. Mm -hmm. You know, so you develop your brand. You've got a very clear message, but you've got to keep tweaking it mm -hmm. along those lines that you've mm -hmm. defined. Precisely. You know, you don't want to get still. Mm -hmm. You know, so you just keep developing, keep mm -hmm. innovating. Brilliant. I mean, I think we've covered so many different interesting aspects in how to build a brand, but I think it's important at home for you to just whittle it down to maybe three key points. If you're thinking of building a brand, what do I want my brand to say? Um, what do I want someone to experience when they hear my brand's name? What should it connote in their mind? Um, I think second of all, it's important about the team that you hire. When you're looking at building a vision, Make sure that the people that you have around you are like-minded and they're passionate and committed about the brand that you are trying to build. And last but most certainly not least, it is all about growth. You have to make sure that your brand is consistently evolving, not only um, to make sure that it's always um, engaging, but also to make sure that people are enjoying the experience of your product. If it remains stagnant, then you will always have competitors that will outdo you and unfortunately take your place in the market. So make sure you're growing that brand in order to stay in pole position. This has been Showcase. It's been amazing spending this time with you and I look forward to seeing you again. Peace.